Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Slow 2 and 2, and I'm with Chris. What's up, Chris? What's up, guys? What's up, Matt Rose? I think I'm going to need a long regeneration after this long night. What's up, Billy? When I wake up, yeah, I know I'm going to be. I'm going to be the man that wakes up next to you. Is your right. Puff of the piles. Mm-hmm. All right, Chris, so what's going on? All right, so got a little bit of Marvel news. I'm interested in hearing how you react to this because I mean, this, there has been a lot of rumors and leaks this past yeah. two weeks. So, some of this is kind of wacky. Okay. Um, I agree. I agree. I, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a lot of this from, um, I believe it was Den of Nerds. So some of it I like though. Their videos. Um, so Captain, or excuse me, I almost said Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, um, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Right. Um, we got a little bit more on the front of some rumors that we heard last time. We're going to make one correction and then kind of add on to it. So in the last one, what I had heard was that there, are, there were going to be people tested. On, the super serum, but, I can't talk. The super soldier serum was going to be tested on people before Steve Rogers. Don't like that, but okay. Apparently that is not the case. There were people after Steve Rogers. Thank you. That, it, thank that you. makes that's sense. Better. That's better. So that makes much more sense. That is and, the, the new rumor that, and I think that's probably the way they're going to go. And they had, didn't they have like the multiple like Winter Soldiers too? Yes. Or something, right? Yes. Now, here's where we're going to get into some things that are a bit wacky. Okay. I think I know what you're talking about. Um, apparently, whatever yeah. they did in Wakanda to Maybe I don't. Bucky, they didn't do it all the way. What? He still has one line of code in his mind that Hydra put into him. That's impossible. She would have found it. No, apparently she did not. Oh. Um, uh, Zemo, apparently, so happy he's tries, he tries to do the control thing to Bucky, and Bucky fakes him out saying like, oh, I'm in the con- under control. And then he's like, nope, not really. And Zemo's like, oh, shit. Well, I guess I have to do this now. There's apparently a word that completely shuts Bucky down. Like, makes him go unconscious. I don't know what that word is, but yeah. Okay. Um, so Zemo says this one thing and Bucky is lights out. Okay. So, yeah. And by the way, we're getting into spoilers here. Uh, For good just... or, or until he says the word, another word? I don't know. Uh, all I know is that he says this one word and Bucky apparently goes bye-bye for a little bit. Wait a minute. I okay. thought Sherry took care of that for you, man. Apparently, you, she you, didn't do it all the way. You see, the dark side is a path to many. Exactly. <laughs> right. Okay. So... Now, here, here's, here's the uh, – this is the bigger wacky thing. That okay. I, is it the I'm villain not, one? I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um, no. No. So oh, no. Thunderbolt Ross, we had talked about how he goes to Sam and he's like, listen, the Sarkovia Accords are still in effect. You did not sign, so you cannot be Captain America. Give me the shield. Right? He goes, however, I will make a deal with you. This is the new rumor. He goes, I will make a deal with you, Sam. I will pardon all of your crimes and make it like you, you never did anything wrong against the Sarkovia Accords or against the U.S. government. You can be Captain America. I'll give you the shield back right now if you agree to undergo the super soldier serum transformation. Oh, fuck that. Really? And Sam says, yeah, no thanks. Wow. Later on, Bucky tells him it's not something you want to do because I had something similar done to me and it changes you. I'm okay with that as long as he fights it and doesn't do it. Here's, here's the wackiness. Uh-oh. U.S. agent says, yes, I'll do it. Okay, yeah. He gets the super soldier serum. He becomes Captain America, gets the shield. That's that scene that we see him running out onto the football yeah. field. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, boy. Here we go. The super soldier serum has apparently – been laced with a mind control element. What? 
that they use to control U.S. agents what? and make him fall in line with any order that they give. Oh, this, I don't like that I mean, at all. That's I, not what happened in the comic. This is why they wanted Sam to take it. And don't like this. Yeah. Apparently, later on, he is contacted by one of the people in the aforementioned testing after Steve Rogers, and he tells him, Sam, don't trust anybody. They are all after you. Yeah. In the comic, he was Captain America, and he was a dick. And he pissed off the villains so much where the villains killed his whole family because he was a dick. And then he went fucking nuts and started burdening the villains and torturing them and shit while being an alcoholic. Yeah. So he's nuts. Did, uh, did you guys see the other villain thing with this show? The, I think it's just a rumor, but... Who was the other villain? Uh, <laughs> so Get apparently ready. I know who he's talking about. Yeah. Get ready, Joe. You're gonna love this one. <laughs> so I, I, I think the thing I read it said there's a scene where, uh, there are two villains. One was from Winter Soldier, and it's Batrock the Leaper comes back. Oh Jesus Christ! But the other one <laughs> is fucking Omega Red. What? Yes. Why the fuck is he in there? Because, because apparently of, yeah. they, go to, they go to somewhere, they go to Madripoor or somewhere like Madripoor, and they said that in the bar, you see a bunch of different characters that they linger the camera on for a little bit, and one of them is apparently Omega Red. Oh, come on. So this is like an X-Men kind of tease? Apparently, yep. they're starting to introduce uh, the mutants and stuff, which leads into some of the other rumors I've heard with uh, um, one of the movies, which is weird. Okay. I don't know. If well, Chris I mean, I heard that Kane and Conquer is in, it, it, in, involved is, before Reed Richards. Like. Is this the thing with Captain Marvel 2? Yes. Yeah, that, that they debunked that. Okay, okay. Thankfully. Thankfully. I was so like weirded out by that one. I, that was the one where I was really like, uh, what? The, yeah. The the story was that Henry Cavill got cast in Captain Marvel two as Wolverine. Yeah, I heard that's and bullshit. Like, though. what? But yeah, no, it's not. That's all bullshit. Yeah, He's doing Witcher like season seventeen and shit. However, I do hear from a good source that's usually been right about stuff uh, that th potentially we we might get fucking Daredevil with Spider Man. I, I've been hearing that for a while, though, because he's going uh, to represent him. Legally. I want it. 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 And also, I, like, no, I, I, think, Spider -Man. I think you guys talked about this already, because I think I remember watching a cast on it, but all the Morbius stuff leaks. Yeah. Wait, yeah. The, if the, all those leaks are true with the MCU tie-ins and the Venom tie-ins, that sounds dope. Yeah. Like, it sounds cool. Well, the thing is... It, Toby Maguire coming to the MCU would be a perfect and that, yeah, thing to defend uh, Peter Sam Parker. Sam Raimi, Doctor Strange. Yes, because it has been a long time since he's been in the suit. Be a per he's a perfect director. Hello, it's Scott. Hey. <clears throat> Are we talking about the fuck fast no. as Doctor Who? We already, <laughs> we're already, we already did. We're the okay. everything we're show did. right now. <laughs> we're, no Doctor Who talking here. Uh, okay. This is to do with... MCU stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So no doctor talk. All right. So, um, again, Chris, continue. What you were saying? Um, as far as I know, um, that's the most of the news that has broken so far. Um, so I know. Now, what about the invisible? The Invisible Man did well. I heard. Uh, it did. It did mildly well. Yes. Well, the budget was only. I see you got the game, Scott. Hunt. How is it? Did you play it? It's is good, it? yeah. It's pretty what good. Is it? uh, hunt, hunt uh, the uh, It's it's like it, it it's like old west characters with zombies and werewolves and oh, yeah magical powers, right? Weird, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, good so far. Was I just like, really bitching? Something about Marvel, Invisible Man. 
What was that? Oh, oh Invisible yeah. Man. So the Invisible budget Man. was only seven million, and it did nine million in its opening day. Damn. So it it crushed the budget, like beyond belief, and in one day. And now, it, even though it's not crazy money, it's still profitable already. Hmm. Well, Technical. not yet, not yet, because they they have to make back their marketing, so you yeah. have to double that. Right. Uh, well. It, okay, so the budget's seven million. You you make it fourteen million. You made twenty nine. Yeah. So it it did that already. So. Yeah, but it it, um, it still needs to be make a bit more before. No, I know. The, with, you know. I know. With Marvel, uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys talked about this already, but uh, I saw that they apparently want to do Red Hulk in the She Hulk yeah. show. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not about. I hate that. And then the Black Widow post credit scene apparently sets up the Thunderbolts. Yep. Well, um, Scarlett Johansson appears in Doctor Strange as an evil Black Widow, by the way. All things online. So, yeah, there's that. And, of course, Sam Raimi said that he's going to do everything in his power to get Tony McGuire in it. What, uh, what don't you like about the Red Hulk thing? Because the whole point is, I, 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 I'm glad that they're doing the way it is in the comics, the She-Hulk origin. Mm-hmm. But the Red Hulk, according to continuity with the Hulk, came much after. Sort of like I was against Venom appearing right away when you could have done movies on Mysterio or the Vulture or anybody else. Um, and I felt it's, that the yeah. Red Hulk's time is not yet for yeah, the, this phase. Right. I'm gonna say I'm gonna be kind. And say at least wait till the second season. Like you should have did. She Hulk villains. Season, it, I mean, just pretty to mention him, and then maybe the third or fourth season, like Titania or episode. whatever. Well, we don't, don't think- we we don't know where he's gonna show up. Like She Hulk seems to be the most logical place. Yeah. But they said that he he he's, it, it's the rumor is that he's gonna appear sometime soon on Disney Plus. We don't know think- where that is. I Didn't we hear okay. that that something like was green lit with the Hulk movie or no? No, Mark Ruffalo doesn't know if he's coming back. No, there was something yesterday that was green lit with the Hulk. They don't have the rights, do they? The Wolverine. Yes, they got the, they got the rights. Oh. There was there was an article the other day that I saw briefly for a second. I I feel like if that were true, it would have probably yeah. I haven't heard anything. By a bunch of other sites. I don't. The right. Hulk is pretty big. I don't think I have anything against the Red Hulk thing. I was more upset about the whole Venom not having Spider-Man. But since that movie came out and I saw it and with all the Morbius and all that stuff happening, I'm more I'm okay with it more now. Uh, well, don't worry. It's in the MCU, so I mean Yeah. Yeah, it's in the I, and I rewatched I rewatched Venom the other day and I don't hate it. <laughs> you it's don't entertaining. Like it. It's entertaining. The, oh, right. Like there are a few. The only thing, the only things I don't like about it are that stupid wig <laughs> that Cletus yeah. Cassidy. Well, that's fixed. But though, that's movie, that's yeah. fixed. Yeah. Uh, the fact that it was in San Francisco, I wouldn't just bring him to New York. Is Morbius wow. in New York? I think so. I think he's because, all over the place. Because I don't remember. Because I think he's I not think, set place. He's all over. Because I, where the hell was? Yeah, uh, yeah, no, yes, it is. Yes, there, there, there's a, there's a thing at, in part of the movie. Yeah, he's in New York. Yep. So did Cletus Cassidy get transferred? Yes. Okay. Good. Be- that means Eddie Brock might end up in New York too. So I'm okay. Uh, and then the other thing I, <laughs> this is a nitpick, but the other thing I didn't like about Venom was there was that fucking guy from Luke Cage that was in it. I was like, ah. Uh, continuity. <laughs> but they did the same thing with Civil War. With Mar- uh, Black Mariah was in Civil War from Luke Cage as well. Different character though. And if we're staying on comic book issues, here's the update for our lovely lady Death. Oh yeah, your new lady Death. Yeah, and, I, and it's the like, Kickstarter thing. Yeah, the Kickstarter. That's what they've got so far. We're demonetized, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Again. And for the fourth time this evening. I had no idea for a, for a split second I didn't see the image and I was like, why are you saying we're demonetized? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's one for the can. Oops. 
Yeah, so, so I didn't hit the I didn't hit the play button for that. I just uh, hit the. Is there anything with um, any other news, Chris, like Transformers or anything, or no? So the, the last thing we heard about Transformers was apparently Hasbro has or is going to have two films going to production very soon. Okay. Does anybody one, care? One is alleged. <laughs> Netflix or a pro, uh, or an Amazon Prom co- uh, cartoon. No, cartoon. no, no. These are, these are apparently films. two. Blockbuster okay. film. Yeah, just, one one apparently is a sequel to Bumblebee, which I just side note. I watched Bumblebee a couple of days ago. Oh, good. And that movie sucked. Okay. It was awful. Kind of I cannot man. tell you how bored I was. The character stuff was okay, but my lord, what a horrible film. But people like it. I, I, I still think The Last Night is worse. The last night yeah, is worse. I'm not, I'm not saying that, that it's worse than the last night. The last, okay. night, the last is, night was the franchise killer for the me. Last night, the last night was abysmal. But my lord, Bumblebee was just so bad. Okay. Um, so that's getting a sequel, I guess, which, okay, uh, you know. Right. Bumblebee, Bumblebee, had, sequel. Bumblebee had some charm to it, but it was just kind of eh. Yeah. yeah, it was forgettable. Nothing in that movie made me go, oh, like, this is so much better. Like, no. Yeah. Right. No. It just felt very, very. So average. what's the? So what is it? A Transformers no, movie and a Bumblebee movies. sequel? No, no, no. It, apparently, it is a sequel to Bumblebee and a Beast Wars film. Ew. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember. I heard. I couldn't remember if it was Beast oh, Wars or another disgusting. one. But yeah. So I'm, I'm interested to see what they do with Beast Wars because they, I, I don't think they can necessarily do it like the show. No, the, no. I watched the show. It. Got wacky at the beginning. And that might be a little confusing. Right. Snake Eyes finished production. Yeah. I have no interest in that. And I don't know what that means, but... And I'm, just, I, I'm sorry. I know how this is going to sound, but I hope they keep Snake Eyes white because that's what No, he's was. not white. He's not. He's Asian. Asian. He should they be changed Asian. it. They cha- no, he shouldn't be Asian. He's supposed to be white. No, no, but I know. But, like, ideally, the character should be Asian. Like, let's be honest. That's what... In the comics, he was white. No, no, no. Well, I'm not saying that. I'm he saying was white that, in like, the Marvel and he was white in the IDW. You do it right. Yeah, they showed a picture. But the the point with plays... the comic is that he's American and the... he's in love with Scarlet. The guy that plays him is Asian, and he posted a picture to his Instagram saying that they finished it or something. I can see him being... Um... Storm Shadow, but the whole you notion. Want to do it. The, 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 the original reason. notion was he was supposed to be from Vietnam, and something, and, and he got injured in a, an explosion with a, a helicopter, or he got injured with a helicopter, and his throat got cut. So that's why he doesn't talk. I mean, what is it with all the snake eyes? Did they just spin the wheel and Asian snake snake eyes? Oh, the reason the reason that they're doing Snake Eyes stuff is that they're trying to re- reinvigorate interest in a GI Joe yeah, correct. series of films, and also and, the Rock is busy, right? And the reason that they're doing this is that Hasbro a couple of years ago had this slate of things that they wanted to do. They're pushing for some kind of big event film. I have a they're sneaking suspicion. I have a sneaking suspicion that it's going to be a three franchise crossover event. I think it's going to be Transformers, G.I. Joe, and a third one, which may or may not be Micronauts. Yeah, because um, there's a Micronauts thing planned, there's a Micronauts thing, thing planned, and there's a ROM thing planned. But whether they here, here's, here's the thing, though. The right. wild card now is that they have access to Power Rangers. Yeah. Yes. And they are making, they said this outright, they're making a Power Rangers film. Yes. Yes, they're doing another remake of that show. <laughs> they're rebooting right. it. So, could, could they fashion this with Transformers? No. Yes. Uh, yes, they okay. could. Yeah. Can I just say that? be the lead into Transformers or lead into... I know we have all this multiverse stuff, but it's getting wacky now with all these crossovers. Can I just say I love Fast and the Furious? Me too. I don't. No, it'll be a crossover. No, it's hard. This flying through. I love Fast and the Furious too. Dude, that, that new one looks so. That cute. shit's great. I play freaking music all the time. Soundtrack. <laughs> I can't wait for them to explain how fucking what's his with name? the ropes and shit. Wow. No, 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 no. What's oh, gonna happen? Oh, next? I know. No, no, the, the next Fast and Furious will be pod racing on Tatooine. Yes. 
Does anybody in here care about Fast and Furious spoilers? I, I love the trailer. Like, are you faster than Dom? Are you the stronger qu- than uh, Dom? The, the question, are you Dom? The question <laughs> is, Billy, does anybody in this cast care about Fast and Furious? I do. Yes, I kind of do. No. I don't know how on earth that franchise has survived. It's like a cockroach. It survived. makes oh, billions oh, just... of dollars each. Yeah. Wait, yep. so Dude. one of my... The thing I found hilarious in the Fast and Furious trailer, the new one, when I was little, one of my favorite things growing up was Power Rangers, okay? And there was – the best series they did was Power Rangers in Space. And in Power Rangers in Space, the evil Power Rangers show up, and they're they're called the Psycho Rangers. Yeah. And when they – with their very first appearance, when they show up, their lines, they cut to like each one of them, and they go, we're faster than you, smarter than you stronger than you and then the pink one goes but we're evil so in the new fast and furious trailer charlie's there on is looking at john cena who is vin diesel's brother in this canon right and she's like she's like you train she's like you trained yourself to be faster than dom stronger than dom smarter than dom and after that i wanted her to look at him and go but you're evil. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, Billy, just can, 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 we, can we talk about how one of their plans for beating the Psycho Rangers was to spray paint all of their costumes blue? I love that episode. And have the blue that Psycho is, Ranger yeah. lose his fucking mind? That was the best because they're fighting the Psycho Rangers and each Psycho Ranger is attuned to their specific colors so they know their fighting styles. And so the Blue Ranger, they have a chessboard with like all the, the players on it. And the Blue Ranger grabs a, he's, he's watching their footage of their fight, which I don't know how he has footage of their fight. And then it accidentally cuts and turns black and white. And he goes, oh, Eureka! And then he walks in to the chess piece, chess pieces and spray paints them all blue. And he's like, this is our plan. And then, and then they all get turn their costumes blue, and the Psycho Rangers don't know what to do, and the blue ones freaking out. And then yeah. randomly, and then randomly, the silver Psycho Ranger shows up, but it's actually the good guy in disguise, and it's crazy, and it's amazing. It's great because because like one of the Blue Ranger shows up, and the Blue Psycho's like, "Oh, I've been waiting for this." And then another one, he's like, "Wait, what?" And then like two more, and he's like, "Oh, oh no!" And then the the silver one, like he says, and they're like. Who the hell are you? And he's like, I'm Silver Psycho. Isn't it obvious? He's like, there's nobody uh, I'd rather oh. see than the Blue Ranger. Well, you're in luck. And then you know, the, like, oh, God. they and then made this... a green Psycho Ranger yeah. recently. In the comics. Yep. The, Didn't the Power Ranger the... fans still existed. They were so committed to that bit of confusing the blue, though, be- because the silver one is on their side, the silver yep. Psycho, but it it's just their, their Silver Ranger dressed up as a Psycho. And he shows up and he's like, they're mine. And he literally starts attacking them with his weapon. And it's like violent as shit. And they're like getting hurt by him. And then the blue's like, fuck you. And starts fighting him. And it's just it's crazy. To the audience at home, if you can keep up with this cast, I am very surprised. Oh, yeah. Power Rangers, man. Fantastic. I watched maybe the first three or four episodes of the very first season of, that, of uh, Power Rangers. And- the f- dude. The first Fast and Furious movie was them stealing DVD players. Yeah. Now they are now they are the Power Rangers, but with cars. I yeah. I half expect their cars to become a Megazord. It's yeah, yeah. True. Like Power Rangers Turbo. Now they made a cartoon, something of that, of them. Oh, my goodness. There's a uh, YouTube channel called The Unusual Suspect, and he takes movie clips and um, – makes well he does reviews and stuff but he also does like music stuff he took a bunch of movie clips and did every power rangers season but with different movies and power rangers turbo was fast and the furious it was, <laughs> it was so great like he did the theme wow. song oh man it was <laughs> awesome i'm just checking out all the uh the money it's made meanwhile joe was doing up his hair at this hour i just power told you what i was doing i'm just checking thank you I was just checking the. Uh, I was just checking what? on the money that all what these fits. The next, like, what is the next big movie that's coming out? Is it Mulan? Which Black I'm Widow, not, uh, isn't it? Yeah, Black Widow's on my birthday now. When is Black Widow? May the first. Yeah. Jeez, in May? We're in March. Like, I mean, it's, I thought I was going to be getting that. This well, you got New Mutants. Um, soon. <laughs> new new Mutants. <laughs> Oh my god, I just realized something about Fast and Furious. If it is Power Rangers Turbo, pa- after Power Rangers Turbo is Power Rangers in space. In the new trailer, there's a fucking Prius or whatever the fuck it is, 
or whatever the car they said. I can't remember, but it's strapped to a rocket. Yeah, yeah. there you go. They're going yeah. to space. And then hopefully oh, they meet Machete. God. <laughs> I know. Machete I'm, I'm in space. Little... Machete was... kills in yes. space. Fast and the Furious Seven. What was that? Uh, that was the one with Paul Walker's last one. Yeah, that's what the was one that called though. Twenty fifteen. It was just called Furious Seven. Yeah. Oh, Furious Seven. It's okay. the Fast it's and the really... Furious. It's... Too I Fast, Too Furious. The yeah. Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Fast and Furious. Fast Five. Furious Six. <laughs> Furious Seven. And then Fate of the Furious, and then the new one is just called like F nine, yeah, which I is you. which which is which is almost close to what I wanted. It. I wanted it to just be Fast called Fast and the Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious, Tokyo yeah. Drift. I just said this. Fast and the Furious, Fast Five. I just said this. Right. You did. You know, really right. Just said <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, and I, I wanted the the ninth one to be called just like Find. Like Fast Nine, combine them, and it's, they all just get fined for all the damages over the years. It's just it's the oh. last one, or oh, my. they can make one when they're senior citizens in wheelchairs. I saw of, that. That instead photo of on fucking, in, um, instead of cars, they're in wheelchairs, and it can be they, called. They aged them. It it could be called not so fast, but extremely furious. Right. Oh my Change god. Change bedpans. So here's the thing. If we add up Fast and the Furious, all nine, right? Or yeah. oh, I'm sorry, yeah. all eight, all eight. Okay. Yep. And if we add up all the Star Wars movies, okay. Yeah. We, we have nine Star Wars, right? E, not counting the spin-offs, but yeah. There is one. Fast no, no, and I'm talking. No, 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 no. I'm talking about <clears throat> when Fast Nine's done, right? If we put all the Star Wars 1 through 9 against Fast and Furious 1 through 9. Yeah. What made the most money? I don't know. If because, you adjust inflation, you know, that, that's wow. different. Wow. I mean, because here's the thing. The, the last Fast and the Furious, what did it make? Like $1,515,000,000. Then it was $1,236,000,000. Then it was like $788,000,000. I mean, there's a lot of... Fast movie. money that these, these movies have been making. Well, hell yeah, dude. They block nuclear blasts with their cars. Yeah. Literally, that happens. In the and in 10, they're Transformers. So, are you basically yeah, well, saying headmasters. that? And then Hobbs and Shaw was like super soldiers. Yeah. Right. So basically, these are combinations of, I think you're saying that these cars are false users and all these Transformers. I can't believe it's reached nine movies, though, already. And they actually and say then, nine We'll, we'll like, look at Triple X. Uh, I think Vin Diesel came out and said that he wants the last, the, the tenth one, to, to be, be the last parts. one, but he wants it to be a two-parter. But he also wants the franchise to continue after that with other characters. And then, yeah, but, what's her name? Michelle Rodriguez wants a female spinoff because she uh, almost dropped yeah. out of the movies. Right. So, so what they're going to do is the ago. next movie is going to be the Fast and the Furious female one, and then there's going to be ten. But ten it should be ten and eleven. He doesn't want to have the, the number 11. So he just wants, you can't have a part, Fast and Furious 10, part one, and do that stupid. Uh, that's a spin-off I mean, from the girls one. No, the spinoff is coming next after this one. I know. And then you're going to get the Fast and Furious 10 and 11 or whatever. I personally, I'm sorry. I personally think the girl one should have came before Hobbs and Shaw. Well, that's the argument. How the fuck is Han alive? I don't know. We'll find out. I can't wait to hear the explanation. Well, uh, D Hobbs and Shaw came out, and they that had all what's that the super, super what's the soldier speech? stuff. What's the dark side speech that you use? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, the force is a pathway to many abilities. Some Han's to be evil. unnatural. Everybody keeps saying justice for Han, and even at the end of the trailer, it says justice is coming. And I'm like, but what if he's evil? Can we get justice for Han Solo, please? I mean, <laughs> yes. I think he deserves it. Not that high. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Does it basically confirm that in the Rise of Skywalker, he's a Jedi now that Kylo has seen him? It was a figment of his imagination. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds so killed the dude by stabbing him with a brick. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get out of here. Think, uh, Ryan Reynolds was the dude that did the st stabbing with the brick. Was we're going to get out of killed the Green Lantern. We're going to get out of here, and we're going to, or oh, whoever wants to join me, because I have to talk. Reveal. I have to talk to Scott about Doctor Who. So screw it, screw it. I'm I'm in. Of course, Matt Rose.
He's done. Yeah, uh, Chris. Yes, yes. I'm gonna call it a night too. All right. Be back. Thank All you guys. Right, well, Take care. Bye for now. Chris,